Hi everyone, it's Hallie Bex here from Heavenly Earth Projects. Thank you for joining me today. It is Sunday the 29th of October 2017. And for those of you who aren't familiar with my work, I am a forensic healer, a divine source channel. Uh, I tend to channel quite a number of beings from the higher realms. And uh, I'm also a teacher. I hold workshops, uh, mainly here in Melbourne. I uh, have one -on -one, offer one-on-one -on -one sessions for anyone who would like a, a personal healing and um, uh, teachings with me. I, uh, I specialise in spiritual healing. I'm a healer's healer. And anything that is an invisible block for you, I can help you get to the bottom of and we can banish it from your life so that you can live with more peace, freedom and purpose. So, since returning from holiday uh, a couple of weeks ago, I've had a very, very busy time. The, quite a number of Ascended Masters have stepped forth wanting to guide my work for you uh, for at least the next 12 months, if not longer. And uh, their message is clear. They would like the mystery to be removed from many of the spiritual teachings that have uh, come forth uh, over time and would like to uh, put some simplicity and ease into our everyday practice so that it is more uh, readily available for us, that we have, it is easier for us to develop a routine and ritual uh, f to connect with our own inner being, our own soul, because that is where the answers lie. And these high masters and angels and beings from the higher realms, they are there simply to help us. Uh, as above, so below. So if you, for example, you were to go to a university or a hospital or a place of learning here on planet Earth, then you would have experts and teachers who would be helping you. Same deal happens in the invisible realms. And I know that many of you sense these beings and hear that inner voice within so this is where you get to learn how to be your own guru and discover that what you're looking for is actually already within. It's the happiness does not exist out in the world. or The world is simply a reflection of our own internal happiness or discomfort. So many Ascended Masters have been sort of jostling for position to have their say and bring their message through. Now today, the hmm, we have Mary Magdalene has come through and she, for today, is simply requesting that we hear her one simple message. There will be more in the future, but for today, she is encouraging us intently to consider the importance of meditation. Now, meditation is simply the key. It is the key to our personal peace, our personal freedom, our prosperity, and our wholeness, and our spiritual path. When for the reason being that when our brain, when our thoughts are so busy with our daily lives, then when we are busy thinking, we cannot be in receiving mode of our own divine wisdom. So Mary Magdalene is encouraging us to reconsider meditation if we have tried it and rejected it because we can't quieten the mind and the message is this simplicity step one find a quiet place step two 
gets comfortable. A comfy chair, or you can lie down in your bed. Somewhere where you can just simply relax, be warm and comfortable. It is not necessary to get into a lotus position or to sit cross-legged upright. Eventually, you will realise that that, yes, does help the energy flow, but it is not necessary to develop a practice in that way, particularly in the beginning. So, now that you're nice and comfy in your meditation position, all you have to do is set a timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes is all you need every day. And close your eyes and listen. So your busy mind is going to be thinking about lots of things. But what you want need to, want to do is to simply... As thoughts come in, don't try and fight them or block them and say, I'm trying to, I want to stop thinking. Just simply let them float by like a passing cloud. What becomes that thought? Right, so I'll just accept I have that thought and let it float on by like a balloon or a cloud. And then you return to the stillness, return to the listening. So you can listen to any noise. You can listen to a guided meditation even, or a mantra. You can listen to that noise in the air conditioning, just a noise in your room where you are. Listen. listen. So when we turn on our ears, it's almost as if we can turn the brain off, the, the thinking mind off. Okay, so... Out of your 15 minutes practice, you may spend 10, 11, 12 or even 13 minutes of that time letting the thoughts just evaporate. And you may only have one minute of just being in silence in the thinking mind and just focusing on that noise, that repetitive noise. But what you, it's really nice to do is just sit in the heart space. You're bringing your attention to your heart space and you're going into a feeling zone. And that's all you need to do to meditate. What you're doing really is just clearing away. So it's, it would be like um, running a computer program that keeps creating thoughts and ideas or it's going over the same ground all the time. So you're just stopping that program running. You're just stopping that running by not giving it attention anymore and allowing space for your own inner wisdom to come through and that generally happens after you've stopped meditating it's like oh we've stopped that vortex all of a sudden oh I get a fresh new idea so that's Mary's Mary Magdalene's message for us for this week keep it simple and meditate 15 minutes per day, that's all. And there will be more information about this spiritual tool in the future. But she's just wanting us to really keep it simple. Keep it simple, but start the practice. It's so vital to do a meditation. And in, there are other ways that we can meditate while we have our eyes open and we're going about doing things. And we're going to talk about those at another time but today she just wants us to latch on to this one idea of 15 minutes preferably in the morning to stop the thinking mind allowing just allowing the thoughts to float on by and focusing on sound without having to think about anything and just sitting in your heart space so that's the message from Mary Magdalene for this week Now, Saint Germain. Saint Germain is an ascended master who is coming through for us. He is all about alchemy. How can we as human beings use spiritual tools to create alchemy, spiritual alchemy of our energy? So where there is darkness, we create light. Where there is heaviness, we create lightness. 
where there is dis-ease, we create health. And his tools and techniques and the spiritual energy that he brings that we can invoke ourselves personally is really needed and uh, for humanity, for all of us at this time. So his energy is all about transformation, transmutation and magic. And perhaps it's no surprise that Saint Germain has had past incarnations as Joseph the father of Jesus, as Merlin the magician, as Francis Bacon and as Christopher Columbus. And finally as Count uh, Germain I think his name was, was his last incarnation and it was after that lifetime he ascended not just to the fifth dimension, hearts, this universal heart-spaced living, living from the heart in the fifth dimension, but also beyond that to the sixth dimension. So he has much to teach us. He is all about the colours violet, purple, and perhaps almost violet pink. So in the future, uh, we won't go into that today because you have some meditation to be working on but he is saying that uh, he is going to teach us in a modern way how to use the violet flame or the violet fire which has been passed down over time and to take the mystery of that, that out uh, to take the mystery of it out of it so that it's readily available to everybody so we can heal our physical body we can heal our heartache and we can live much happier lives so now I would like to draw a card from Mother Mary a message going forth uh, from Mother Mary Mother of Jesus and her energy is all about universal love Mother Mary, what is it that you would like to bring forth for everyone today, please? Just shuffling the oracle cards here to see what she would like to bring up for us. Now this one here. There we go. So it's the card of God. And put the big eyes on so I can read the small print. So this is about surrender. So this is another message that has been coming quite clearly through uh, to me this week. It is what it is. So when we are faced with a, a situation which is difficult or irritating or in discord with our way of thinking, we just need to give it up instead of resisting it. It is what it is. If we can't change it, if it's someone else's opinion, it is what it is. It is what it is. Let go and let God. So it's just surrender to it. Um, if we have an issue within us, a fear within us, uh, then surrender to it. Let go and hand it over to God. So, for example... If we suddenly get hit with some energy of, say, disillusionment, so one minute you're feeling pretty confident about life and your, your role in it and focused on your stuff, and you pick up some energy or you've had a conversation with somebody else or you pick up some energy of dis, being disillusioned, your shine has just become dull. So what do you do about that? Firstly, you just notice that, oh, I've been hit with some energy doesn't feel very good it is what it is so I'm just now going to surrender to it I give in I feel disillusioned so I now having acknowledged that say so I give in to this disillusionment it is not me I just let go of it and hand it over to God for healing with love and light and just feel the energy shift. So now Saint Germain's coming into me and saying he's going to teach us a technique to be able to 
once we've identified that energy which is making us feel low is how to actually transmute it so instead of handing it to God we are actually purifying it ourselves using God's will so we're starting to create a really good teaching here surrender it is what it is it is what it is it is what it is you can't change it give in to it and that's when we stop resisting it and we can actually then cut the cord it's uh, like it, it's, it is it is like when you have a dog on a lead if you are trying to get the dog to come in your direction and you're pulling the dog naturally resists and pulls the other way right you'll know that if you've tried it if you then let go of the resistance and the resistance on the lead and you go, oh, well, I'll just step a bit closer and then call the dog and encourage it, it will come to you. So when we let go of the resistance, the pulling, then the dog's not pulling against us either. So when we stop pushing or pulling against something, then there is no resistance, so then we can just let it go. So, simple message coming through from your Ascended Masters for us for this week. That is, meditate. They say meditate, don't percolate, is the message coming through right now. So instead of percolating on those ideas that aren't working, let go of them. Stop resisting. Throw your hands up and say, right, I've got no idea what I'm doing in relation to this. I'm going to stop thinking about it. That's it. I give in. I hand it over to God. And then by meditating, you can then clear the brain, the thinking mind, for the wisdom to come through, the answers to come. Simplicity. Key word for this week. Keep things as simple as possible. And also, key words, modern spirituality. The modern way to bring the ancient traditions through, to update the terminology so it's more acceptable to our modern ear, and without losing the integrity of, what, of the teachings. And they really want to spread this wisdom as far and as wide as possible. Okay, they want you to get it within your heart, to get it in your heart. So, that seems to be the spiritual message for today, going forward. An update on a few other things. I'm now offering one-on-one -on -one sessions in Northcote, in Melbourne, at the Northcote Wellness Centre at Nine Langwells Parade. And this location is offering really great flexibility in terms of days and times that I can see you. So not just restricted to Monday, available all day, every day, we can work something out there. So I'm hoping that's really going to help you. For one-on-one -on -one sessions, I'll also be planning some more workshops upcoming. So keep an eye on the Facebook page to receive information about those. If you would look like to join my mailing list uh, to receive emails regarding what's going on, upcoming events and bits and pieces, then you can either jump on the Facebook page and follow the sign up link there or send me an email to hallybex at icloud.com and I will pop you on the list. And what else is happening? November, November the 19th, Sunday the November the 19th, I'm going to be at the Good Vibrations Buller Bohemian Market up near Tullamarine Airport. 
in the countryside there. It is a great market. It's really great. So if you're looking for some really interesting crafts uh, and things for Christmas gifts, then come along and check this market out. There's all sorts of good stuff going on there. There's food. They have a drumming circle. Anything that creates a good vibration is going on at that market. From my point of view, I'm going to be bringing along the crystal essence sprays that I make and some crystal pendants. I'll have some lovely gift box uh, collections made up for gifts, but particularly I'm focusing on the three sprays that I make. One is for cleansing, not only your aura, but it will clean your crystals. Uh, one is for peace and calm, to just bring that calm and de-stress your vibe. And the third one is for protection. So for spiritual protection, from energetic protection. And it's also a grounding spray as well. So these have been uh, created using angelic vibrations. They have been uh, infused with energy from Archangel Metatron. They have lovely doTERRA essential oils in them. And they're super nice. They're great for children, adults, pets your space, your office, and uh, if you would like to check these out, come and see me at the Buller Market, or keep watching the Facebook page, and I'm going to put a few photos up there, and you can just send me an email if you would like to order some, I can post those out to you. So, what else is upcoming that might be of interest to you to enhance your life? Um, I think that's probably about it for now. Not bad for a Sunday. So I hope you're having a great day and a great week. And uh, as we launch into November, the 11th month, it's a pretty special month and it's a month of new beginnings. So I trust that you have opportunities for new beginnings in your life. And thanks again for listening and I look forward to speaking with you again soon. Bye for now.